You like this one better than this one? Which one you like better? So what happened was last week I got a message from my mom asking if we want to go to Hat Yai which is in Songkla province way down south of Thailand for my cousin wedding and we both say yes. So for this episode is the beginning of full vlog series on how Jimmy react to Thai culture and tradition especially the unique wedding culture here which I guarantee you is totally unique. Lawn. 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 This sound. Lawn. 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 You say the third sound, not the fourth sound. I got a sound for you. Lawn. The second day in the city with Ta's family, we start off with a really hearty breakfast. Apart from Thai cuisine, Ta's aunt said one of the best foods to eat when traveling to Hut Yai is the dim sum. Here, it comes in a small size, and it only costs about 10 to 20 baht per dish. After a super traditional breakfast, uh, we are here getting dressed and fitted for a traditional wedding. So, this is very interesting to me. But I think I will change to this one. But look at this. They just have a big room, basically, and you can pick anything out of the room. And as long as you're wearing something out of the room, you're okay to go to the wedding. Uh huh. And they gave me this, and it has one no. leg. It looks like it. So it's we're gonna try it on. We're gonna see how it looks. That's too weird. I know, but when I originally looked at it, I thought it had one leg and two shoulders. I was you like, you wanna look at this? You wanna see? I have all of these to choose from. I'm thinking I'm gonna go like super stand out and go with like, <laughs> like baby blue and Do purple. Do you want that, uh, yellow? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I gonna, this is what I gonna wear. I like that. You like this one better than this one? Which one you like better? That one. This one? Yeah. Okay, I gonna wear this one. So then you have to find something pink. I have to find something pink? Yeah, to match with me. How about this one? Guys, talk about being outside your comfort zone. <laughs> Culture shock. Dude, how about you wear that? That the that my aunt, that my aunt chose for you. That color is so good on you. It's so manly. It's like the government of Thailand in the past. Okay. Yeah. Where's the front? Where's the back? Either. That's Either. why. It, yeah, that's why it's so functional. <laughs> it's so functional, you can even wear it as a hat. <laughs> and then turn you into like Arab beer, Arab person. There is the leg, you have to be patient. See, it works. There we go. Woo! Dude! How do you feel? I feel like I stepped like 300 <laughs> years back in time. <laughs> like... <laughs> you will look better after having something to fit you, like the top. Where's the top? Um, the top I have to ask the lady. But I have a change. I mean, clearly it doesn't really matter to me what I wear, because I don't know what difference. Once in a lifetime. But the pants are supposed to go up a little bit. But it's bigger than them. But how do you do it? Oh. Yeah. I don't know how to do this, so my aunt has to do it. It will be in the hotel tomorrow. Wow. Change? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I uh, can you try to I raise your hand? Okay. Oh. Okay. 
ยกขายกขึ้นมันก็หลุดเดี๋ยวต้องเย็บเข้านิดนึง so it has to be fixed because actually it's supposed to tie around your this part of your leg do you want it to be like tight like this or you want it to be loose like here it doesn't matter it doesn't matter no I mean it I'll wear it just like this that is quite an interesting wardrobe so heavy I'm surprised that like if, if somebody had to have a traditional wedding outside it would be it would be really really uncomfortable thank god it's gonna be inside but the, co the clothes are really really cool it's like something I've never ever seen before so it's really cool and interesting to me The ten, the ten clothes I have been trying on. Uh, I have to select a new one, guys. Because it doesn't fit you. Yeah, because Taiko, normally I told you, is they are so thin. <sighs> oh, that was pretty interesting. That was so that was really interesting. rough. It took me like I think it we took, we spent like about hours there. She tried on like thirteen different dresses. I was like, I have the problem with my. Why don't you wear just this? Hips. Just nothing but this. <laughs> they would kick me out. This looks like lingerie. <laughs> my arms like this one is better. My mom said this one's better. So we have to change the eleven thing. Okay. Fine. You have a. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh me. Do you like it? Yeah. It's too yellow. No, I like it. Because uh, Thai people, they are so thin. I mean, they don't, they don't really have hips. Like that. my problem is that I can't find anything that fit my hips. What? So we just finished up lunch and it is absolutely amazing. And they end lunch with like freshly picked mangoes and then Ta's aunt cuts them up and serves them to everybody. They were just so, so, so sweet. Huh? The mangoes were just so sweet. They were so good. That is the Thai mango that they go and make a mango stick rice with it. Really? Yeah, so that's why it's really sweet. It's the certain type of mango, guys. There are so many kind of mangoes in Thailand. Like it's hundreds. so good. Yeah, and that type is specifically to make mango specifically for rice. mango sticky rice, yes. I feel so bad because uh, like me, my stomach isn't used to eating the same Can type of foods like isn't used to eating the same type of foods that like ta is because she grew up eating it so like oh, they yeah, have like fish and like fish soup and curries and things like that but they they keep the fish and the the, the curries and stuff for like a couple days <laughs> and just like dried fish just keep it and they just eat it every day and like <clears throat> i cannot do that like my stomach just can't handle it i'll get sick and so like I feel kind of bad because her mom bought me kapow, but it was still amazing food, but it's just kind of makes me feel bad having her go out of her way to just get me lunch because my stomach can't handle eating the same type of foods like that. But I think You're we're just, <laughs> I'm a farang. Mm. I think we're just gonna uh, head back, work a little bit, and take advantage of this crazy fast internet and upload a new vlog for you guys. Thai tradition is everywhere, but it runs deep in the family heritage and is very noticeable when in the countryside. When you surround yourself with locals, you will truly see how it impacts their everyday life.